If this was the early 1900s, you'd be going to that snake oil salesman to buy that cure, that pill, that antidote, that whatever to cure all your ails. However, today we have the antidote. And you know what? This looks fantastic, but will it cure your ails? My name is David Edwards and welcome to Booze on the Rocks. Now the cocktail we are making today is called The Antidote and it was created by Pat Ray. And Pat said when he created this in around 2016 that he was trying to take an old fashioned and turn it into a summery style drink. Now you can find the recipe in the Bartender's Manifesto here by Toby Maloney which was released this year and I will put a link down below if you're interested. Having said that, I did have to make a change to the recipe, but before I get into it, let's talk about the spirit and the Amaro that we're going to use. Today's spirit is Cazador Blanco Tequila. It's 100% blue agave tequila that is 40% ABV and is produced in Jalisco, Mexico. Our Amaro today is China Ricotta Original. It's 16.5% ABV and it's produced in Termoli, Italy. Now this is a simple six ingredient cocktail that is relatively easy to put together. And I did say that I had made a change in the type of Amaro because the recipe itself calls for Zecca Rababaro. And I can't get that. And it also doesn't specify whether it was the pre-2016 version of that Amaro or the after 2016 version. And the reason I say that is because there's double the amount of alcohol in the after 2016 version. So that will change the flavor in itself. But if you look at the original, the closest I could come to was Chinar. And you know what, that'll give you some of the sweetness and the artichoke will kind of work in place of the rhubarb flavor a little bit. However, let's get started. This is a shaken cocktail. And what we're going to do is grab your strawberry, we'll destem it and then cut it in half and throw it into the glass. Now that you've done that, what we'll do is we'll just grab your muddle and we'll just muddle this up gently. You don't have to muddle it up too hard because when we shake it, it'll get muddled and destroyed even more when it spreads out the flavor. But your first ingredient after that is a honey syrup. Now you have to be careful with the amount of honey syrup you put in because honey is sweeter than a standard sugar syrup by almost a factor of two. But we need a, a quarter of an ounce or seven and a half mils. Now your second ingredient is another syrup. Again, I'm using a homemade uh, ginger syrup. And what I will do for both of these recipes is I'll put the recipes and the methods of how to make them down in the description down below for you. But we're going to use more of this and this will give us a little bit of spice, a little bit of zip. We're going to use a full half an ounce or 15 ml. Now your third ingredient is a little bit of lime juice. So what we'll do is we will grab our lime, we will cut it in half and squeeze out three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half milliliters into the glass. Perfect. Now this is where it gets interesting because of the swap in ingredients. So we're going to use our chinar. Now chinar is an artichoke style Amaro. And you know what? It's really good and it's a great intro into Amaros because it's not overly bitter. But for this, we're going to use a total of a half an ounce or 15 mils. So this is where it gets interesting. As Pat said, you know, he was trying to make an old fashioned sort of a summery style drink. Now he used a Blanco tequila. In this case, we're using Cazador's. Oh, what a fantastic cork sound. Anyways, all of these flavors should come together really, really nicely. And we're going to use an ounce and a half or 45 mils. All right, this looks really good. So what we're going to do now is shake this with a little bit of crushed ice. And what we'll do is we will just give this a bit of a whip shake. So we don't need a lot of crushed ice. It's just enough to dilute it a little bit and we'll go from there. So make sure you slap this on really, really good. Give it a flip and hold on really, really tightly while you shake it. Yeah, pop that off with the strength of a singular strawberry. Put that off to the side. Now what we're going to do is grab your glass of choice. In this case, it's a rocks glass. And what you want to do is fill this with more crushed ice, just like so. But don't fill it all the way. So what we'll do is we'll using our Hawthorne strainer, we are just going to slowly push the gate down just a little bit and gently just pour this in. Oh, looks absolutely 
fantastic. Smells that way too. You could add a little bit more crushed ice to the top if you want, but you don't have to. But to garnish it, grab a strawberry, chop it in half, and you're going to slice this so that as you put it on here, the drinker actually smells the full flavor of the strawberry. So this is the antidote. Mm. Really, really good. You've got the tequila, there's a little bit of ginger, a little bit of honey. The chinar is there and it gives you that overly artichokey bitterness, but it's very, very slight. In fact, it's so well blended. This is one that you will really enjoy. Now, if you like other Amaro cocktails, please check right here and take a look at the Roman Holiday. It's another cocktail I know you'll love.